What's good, y'all? What's the numbers, TV? It's your boy, Poe Row. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already. And like a video if you appreciate the concept that Poe Row was the numbers I provided. Today, we're back with another profile piece. It's on AI Ham. In this video, we will speak about his time growing up in Yonkers, New York, where he would start running the streets, eventually joining the gang at an early age. Then we will talk about his first couple runners with the law and sporadic attendance at school, which led to him branching out a bit and focusing on becoming a rapper. After that, we will take a look at the details surrounding the murder of an 18 year old high school student that A.I. Ham would end up being charged with. And lastly, with sentencing coming up, we will focus on what the outcome of his case will be after a plea deal was recently reached. Jameer Thompson, better known as A.I. Ham, is from Yonkers, New York, which is located in Westchester County. Not part of the five boroughs, Yonkers is still the fourth most populated city in New York and has produced a lot of stars and newsworthy stories over the years. Jameer himself comes from a good family who helped his young mother raise him after his father passed away when Jameer was just a child. The void of one of his parents not being there will play a part in his early entry into the gang and street life, which is where A.I. Ham would be born after he became a member of the Bloods. Around this time, he would also start rapping and actually had a pretty decent work ethic for someone so young. By 13, he was releasing videos for his own songs or others he was featured on back to back and even met older, well-established New York City rapper Cameron, who was shown some love and repost his video on Instagram. Now with all that A.I. Ham was doing in a short period of time musically, he was also doing just as much in the streets as he was arrested for some serious crimes like robbery, gun possession, and a stabbing all by the age of 15. But because he was so young, he never did any serious jail time. The last school he attended was the Linden Hill School in Hawthorne, New York. According to their website, the school is dedicated to meeting the social, emotional, and academic needs of fragile students with emotional needs. Students are referred to Linden Hill by the State Office of Mental Health or by their local committees. Some students live on the campus while others commute back and forth and just attend classes during the day. During his time there, they say A.I. Hound attended school sporadically. The next situation that will happen in his young life will be a tragic event that will make news headlines for about two weeks straight. The incident happened on April 25, 2019, and all started over a chain that A.I. Ham supposedly robbed another local teen for. When the two crossed paths again later in the day, the teen that got robbed along with another person started to chase A.I. Ham up the block. During the chase, according to news reports, A.I. Ham would back out a gun and shoot in the direction of the two in pursuit of him. He would miss them and end up hitting 18 year old Marilyn Cotto Montanez in the head. She would be rushed to the hospital where sadly, she died from her injuries. From there, A.I. Ham would do the race for the next 12 days with the authorities hot on his trail. They believed he had assistance from other gang members along with his family who were helping him move around unnoticed. The search was spanned across five different states as they tried day and night to locate him, even offering a cash reward to anybody that knew his whereabouts. Eventually, after retaining the lawyer, A.I. Ham would turn himself in on May 7, 2019, almost two weeks after the shooting. From there, he will be charged with second degree murder as a juvenile and head at the Woodfield Cottage, which is a facility that houses youthful offenders in Westchester, New York. The case will go on to play itself out in court for the next two years before A.I. Ham entered a guilty plea to murder in his second degree in May of 2021. But yo, what's what's the numbers TV is a quick profile piece on Jameer Thompson, better known as A.I. Ham. You know, the kid was in the streets from a young age. As you can check as the content of his music, uh, his Instagram page, you know, was out there holding guns. So he was active. He had things going on. His mom was a young mother. She was amazed at home. She had her own headlines because during the, when they was trying to locate him, she basically let him know that she wasn't going to turn him in, even though she knew where he was at to the point that they wanted to press charges against her for, you know, helping him run and stay on the stay on the run for almost two weeks. Basically, he was a, not even, he was 15 years old and was on the run for 14 days, damn near. So the police definitely knew he had help and was, they were trying to, you know, basically narrow down who was helping him and things like that. But he ended up turning himself in that he had the lawyer and all that. He might be home soon because if he gets to nine years, seven more years, six more years, however long they keep him or they stretch him longer than that, 25 years old or something, he might be home. So he might have an opportunity to re 
as far as like, you know, you can't take back what he done. Rest in peace to the girl, Marilyn Cotto Monson, as you know what I'm saying, definitely sad about her. She got killed in front of her little sister. You know what I'm saying? He can't never take that back, but maybe he could still start out on something positive when he comes home, you know what I mean? So we have to wait and see. But like I said, definitely rest in peace to the 18 year old girl that was killed. Now, real quick, as you know, you know, he had an active Instagram as far as like dropping music on there, getting love, Cam got a picture, post reposting them and things like that. So he was working, he had music out consistently, he was dropping things, and this is just in a short period of time. So and he had like some type of lane in the streets where people knew who he was. So he might have had a lane as far as like being able to do something that musically then he might still have a chance if he comes home at a decent age where he's able to get back into the game. So we'll have to wait and see. Like I said, this was a profile piece on him. As you can see, the promo's picking up. So you can see how many views we get. If you got something that you want to promo, get at me on the email, the um, Instagram, and we'll figure something out. Now, that's really all I want to talk about today. I don't want to ramble too long, except if I'll go follow you know, the usual, go follow the Instagram, you know what I'm saying, subscribe to the channel, all that good stuff. You see me back out here working more. The video is coming more consistently. Become a member of the channel for all the exclusive perks. And we going live soon, so be on the lookout for that. But yo, it's What's the Numbers TV? It's your boy, Poe Rowe. Back before you know it, man. We out of here. Peace.